Hello and welcome to another episode of Cryoplay's Magic the Gathering 2012 and today we're going to have a go at defeating Tezzeret. Um, I played this guy once um, off recording just to get a feel for what his deck is and it's pretty much, please correct me if I'm wrong, it's multicoloured and it's um, kind of artifacty I think um, if I remember. Um, but he's a uh, he's not a nice man. He's a bit of a naughty man, and I think I'm gonna get my ass munched. Um, <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm using the white deck again. I feel comfortable with it, so I'm gonna keep this hand so I can get I leave that guard out first turn. But Tezzeret's a bad boy. <laughs> I think he's got like white, black, uh, white, black, blue. He might be, which is just crazy. Multiple splashed, and he's got loads of cards that fetch lands, so he can always have the lands he needs, and all this kind of stuff. But he also has flyers, which is what I'm worried about, because that's what this deck's all about. It's all about getting your cards up in the air and getting them over the creatures of your other, of your opponents. So, it'll be interesting to see how uh, how we deal with this. He's laying an artifact creature, Maya, a two-one. My turn again. So we go plane. So I'm gonna actually get to lay that and equip it within the first turn which is cool making that a 4-3 make it pretty tasty out there I think this is all I'm going to have to do, I'm just going to have to try my best to whittle him down as much as I can see that Terramorphic Expanse, that card allows you to search for a basic land card. Whenever a player casts a white spell, you may gain one life. Sweet! I have three of them, I think. It's weird because in a standard game of magic, you can only have 60 cards in your deck, but this, it seems, I swear, that you just have like infinite amount of card in your hand. Because look, I've got 56 cards left in my deck, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 out. So my deck is a 66 card deck, which is a bit crazy, but it also means that I have less likelihood of getting certain cards out. So that's not good. Uh, flying when Pilgrim's Alliance is about to you may search your life for a basic land reveal and put it into your hand and shuffle your library. Okay, that's another land draw card he's got there. It's a 1 1 though. But. I need to get some flying out there. Golden's Avenger. Whenever a creature, whenever a creature an opponent controls comes tap, put a one-one counter on and give it an Avenger. So we, I get a nice life there. Come on! Oh, I have to click continue. Attack with Glory Seeker. I imagine I'll get blocked because the only reason he wanted that card was to draw a land. But at least I'm keeping his creatures under control. That's <laughs> that's the positive I'm drawing here. You know he's on half life. Just keep you cool. Oh, and he's destroying a not target on black creature. Sweet. And what's he gonna lay down? Nothing brilliant. Planes. Activate ability. I will always have a 4 3, goddammit. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many times you kill me, I'll always have a 4 3. But I kind of like this deck. I want to unlock it and play with it, you know, experiment with it. It seems kind of cool. Stone Golem 4 4. The smashes. Oh, thank 
god I have a card like this. I can pay mana to tap. I want to pay this card's cost. Can I not play it the first turn it's in? God damn it. I thought I was sorted there for shizzle. Uh, oh god, so that means his artifacts are going to cost one less to play. Now, if whenever I land into the battlefield under control, you make pay two if you do draw a card. Oh, brilliant. He's going to swing for four, probably. Or not. He's going to play a land. Activate the ability and tap this motherfucker. Continue. Attack! So he's got a counter on him now because I managed to tap that card. So it's a nice little combo we got here. Because I can buff this card as much as I can by simply using the ability to tap. It's pretty cool. So he's on six. It's going all right. Tesseret is making choices. Please wait. That's never good. He's just laid another one of those cards. Sarah Angel, Sarah Angel. <laughs> I love you, baby. At the same time, I'm going to activate his ability. Just in case it wouldn't have let me, otherwise, in my main phase. Oh, it would have done. Oh, well. At least it's done now. I'm going to attack. Probably be blocked again, but who cares? Because next turn I've got two flyers, so I've. I'm pretty sure I'm good, but. You know, he could have one card that he's pumping up towards and it's just going to destroy me completely. But we'll see. I'm on 23 life. Yeah. Razor Field Rhino. Razor Field Rhino gets plus two, plus two as long as you control three or more artifacts. How many artifacts does he control? One, two. Okay, he 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 has three. He has three artifacts. That's awesome. So I'm gonna pay the ability to tap that card. Pay that card. Continue. Then I'm just going to attack with this fella. Because it can't be blocked, so there's no point me sacrificing this card or something stupid like that. Um, it probably would have made him think about blocking with that, but as long as I have a flyer, I'm okay, unless he gets a flying card out. <laughs> but we'll see. If not, I'll just do like an all out attack kind of thing. Razor th Field Thrasher. 6 4. Brilliant. So he's just getting big colourless brutes out. He's probably going to swing in and try to... Why is he not attacking? He just seems completely passive about this whole thing. Um, but anyway, activate ability, get a tap. I don't know, tap 6-6, six, six, what the hell. I'm just going to go on an all-out attack. Attack! Yeah, and what? And what? What are you gonna do? He's gonna block the two-two. Just get demolished. Minus ten. All right. All right. <laughs> so yeah, that was me kicking Tezzeret the bad boy's ass. Um, I hope you enjoyed, guys. God, I thought that I thought that was gonna go so much harder than it was.
So I've defeated Tezzer and unlocked m Mani m Machination Machin that one. <laughs> and I've unlocked two more cards from my deck I've unlocked. Cat Soldier, as long as as long as the card is equipped it has first strike and lifelink. Ooh, lifelink, that's nasty. So yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching guys. And next episode I'm sure we'll be taking on this woman here. So uh yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, you know, leave a comment. I love comments, so make sure to leave plenty of comments. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching.